My name is Rhoda Mills. I was born and raised in Las Vegas. I am a mother of three, grandmother of two, and I'm just one of those people that pretty much takes everything day by day. I was in a relationship with uh, my daughter's father and we were kind of parting ways. One thing led to another. I, eventually I ended up getting shot by him four times and that left me with a spinal cord injury which then led to being in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. After I got shot and got out of rehab, I stayed inside for probably eight months. I would only leave to go to the doctor. People see the after. They see you and they're like, oh my gosh, she's so strong. Again, they don't know the process it took, you know, for you to get out of the house that morning. When someone is designing a piece, I think they need to keep in mind that they're designing for everybody. Whether it's the elastic or drawstring or whatever, the clothes you like typically aren't made to accommodate you. Because I do everything, and I'm going to use the term manually, I have to physically pick up my leg and put it in the pants. When I'm afraid of something, it really makes me want to do it, and that was one of the reasons why I did Runway of Dreams. At first, I really didn't expect to be chosen. Participation in a program like that is going to be motivation for someone else, whether they have a disability or not. It really did help me become more comfortable in my own skin, and in my wheelchair. You had people with so many different types of disabilities, but yet we were all able to get around just fine and do what we needed to do. And that was the biggest thing. I was like, wow. You felt like you were in New York. You were part of Fashion Week. I felt like a superstar. I looked around, everybody was smiling, like the vibe was just amazing. Having more inclusive fashion shows really says that you care about people with disabilities. I always say I can go from the White House to the ghetto <laughs> because I can fit in anywhere and I kind of dress according to where I'm going. When you give people the opportunities and let them decide whether they're gonna take it, they have more choices. When you have more choices, you feel more empowered.